What's up guys and welcome back to today's tutorial on the for each loop. So what you can see here is I've got my array of toast toppings and we're going to loop through this and I'll put each topping to the screen. So the way we would do that is with a for loop. So for int i equals zero, i is less than five, which is the length of my array, and i plus plus. So just add in one each time we loop. And we're just going to sys out topping i. So what that's just going to do is going to take the value of i and get me the topping in from the array with that index. So let's run this. And what you can see is it has output each of my toppings. Uh, what you've got to be careful of when you do this is that your i value doesn't go bigger than the size of the array. So if I run this now, we're going to get an exception because it's trying to access an index that isn't in the array. So a nice way around this is to put in toppings, so the name of your array, dot length. And this is always going to equal what you define up here. So if we run this again, you see it works fine, no exception. Uh, so that's just, an, uh, that's just a basic for loop going through your array, but there's a better way to do it than this. So what we're going to do is if we go into here, we're going to say for, open brackets, and we're going to say string topping, colon, toppings. And then we're just going to attempt to sys out our topping. So what this is saying is go through our toppings array and look at each individual element of that array and define it as a variable called topping and then just output that to the screen. Okay, and so before we run it, let's comment this code out by just doing a forward slash asterisk and at the end of it, do asterisk forward slash. So what that means is it's just gonna skip this bit of code, not run it. So let's run this now. And you see it's output the exact same as this original for loop. So this for each loop can be for any type of variable. It doesn't have to be a string as long as this value here matches the value of your array. And that's pretty much it for the for each loop. Stay tuned for the next tutorial where we're going to go over the while loop. If you're having any trouble with this code, try it. Just post a uh, question in the comments or look at our forum on yourprogrammingnetwork.co.uk.